Today is uh, January 9, uh, 2022, and it's a very nice sunny day here in uh, Northern California. And uh, I'm about to prune this uh, blue art tree. I have an entire row of uh, cherries, plums, blue arts, and uh, some pomegranate. And uh, at the end, I have apples, pears, and some other uh, stone fruit. So this is the best time to prune these uh, trees. I generally uh, prune a tree in a way that uh, it open up from the middle. And I won't leave any branch that going upward straight. And also, I try to not have branches very too low to the ground uh, so generally that will uh, give uh, plenty of uh, space for the branches to get sunshine get uh, proper airflow and uh, also not uh, too much fruit that I, I have to thin and that leave uh, uh, the size of the fruit to be very nice and a better quality so it's, uh, it's my uh, idea how to keep the trees in a shape and uh, some pe other people generally in the commercial setting they may prune tree or shape the tree differently for their need. I like not to have any branches that are under another branch like you don't want branch that shadowing other branch so that reduces the sunlight for those branches and uh, and then with over time those branches will die out move those branches early on and that leave uh, the energy and resources for the tree for the branches that you want so i will go around this tree a few times and uh, see which branch i want to cut i can already tell there are a few branches they are pretty low to the ground and with the fruit they will even go lower so I need to remove those branches I will I will remove some branches which are in the middle of the tree and then also I'll remo uh, uh, remove branches that are going upward and I want those branches going out and sideways
Okay, so that is pretty much done. I may remove a few smaller ones later to see how they're shaping up. But generally you can see that any branch that was going either upward or inward, I have removed. I also removed some of the branches that were quite low. And also I tipped some of the branches, even they were going sideways, I want them to branch at the point. So for example, this branch, uh, so it will now will have more branches coming out of this way, this side, and here, and then this will be a pretty strong branch. I don't want it to go uh, straight up or side long, and this will be within my reach. So this is another bluewood tree, and this is uh, before the pruning. And then I'll show you one afterwards. Okay, and this is after. So every branch that I wanted to cut or trim has done. And uh, you can see that uh, it's much lighter and uh, fewer branches. And none of them is uh, too long. So this is another uh, very young plum tree. I planted this last year and uh, it is from a cutting which i propagated myself so as you can see that uh, it's not really shaped going outward and there are a few branches that's going straight up so let's see what we can do about this one um yeah so there's there's this branch it has three going upwards and uh, then this one it has this pretty healthy branch going sideways and i have one here i don't know if you can see in the camera uh, so i want to keep this one and that one so this middle one will need to go and uh, now i can uh, this branch i want this branch to branch somewhere here so if i can trim it so you can decide based on some of these uh, buds and uh, so this there's this very nice bud here it can go from there I can cut there and now I have uh, this going branch this way and I want to branch somewhere here and let's see if I trim it uh, here and this one same I want to do something similar and uh, let's do it right here now this one is in the middle and no matter which way it will either shadow that one which I want to keep so I don't want to trim here so I think uh, only way to fix this one is to remove that all together and I will trim this one here uh, so now that leaves uh, some of these two branches here and there's one underneath and this will be very low so I need to remove that and uh, so now I have okay this is inward this is also going in uh, I can remove one, some of these smaller one in the middle and now I have these two branches. They will get a little stronger this way. One go that way. This plum, or this wall will go that one. And uh, I will see about this one next year. We'll decide if it will go upward or sideways. I, wouldn't, I can keep that one. And so I think, so this is uh, how you start a young tree. And it took me many, many years to learn the importance of uh, the pruning because early on I didn't touch the tree and I let it grow any which way it wanted and that turned out to uh, be not uh, so good. Uh, the shape of the tree uh, it's very difficult to maintain afterwards so you can train them early on and uh, that way they will turn out exactly where you want. Okay so this is uh, the end result of these uh, bluewort and plums.
So you can see that all these branches are pretty much shaped uh, outward and there's uh, not much uh, inside. And uh, then branches also are trimmed at the end. So they will branch more. This is another blue art. This is one of the best uh, plum I have in my collection. I have five different uh, plum varieties. They start from um, early June and then go till uh, early October. So quite a long uh, a season for plums between plum and pluot. This is a plum, I think it's, I believe it's called Santa Rosa. It's a variety. You can see that it's uh, uh, like upside down umbrella shape 